Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In this video, we'll be looking at the Pro Tools automation features, Capture and Punch. Capture allows you to capture all currently writing automation parameters, or it can be forced to capture all parameters across all tracks in the session, irrespective of whether those tracks are currently writing automation or not. Once the settings are captured, Punch allows you to start writing those parameters at another location in the session. I have some empty tracks here just to demonstrate the basic operation of this. So say for example, I'm writing automation, maybe in the mix window actually. So I might be writing volume, pan like this, making a few changes as I go. Maybe I'm also writing automation to a plugin like an EQ. Any parameters you do want to write automation for need to be enabled in the automation window. And maybe I'll also write some settings for another plugin like this. When I'm ready to capture all of the currently writing parameters, I can click the capture button in the automation window. And now with those parameters captured, they can subsequently be punched in at another location in the session. If you look closely at the automation window, you'll see that the punch capture button is now highlighted, indicating that we have something which can now be punched in wherever we like. So let's start this running. And where I want to drop this in, I can click on Punch Capture. And as you can see, my captured settings have now been punched in at the point where I clicked it, and all tracks have started writing those parameters from that point. You could potentially use this over a selected range, so that range might represent the duration of a scene. And I could start it running, click on Punch Capture, then I could use the manual Write to Selection feature, and it will write it across that selected range. Playing it back from just before this point, of course, the parameters jump to the written values once we hit that point. That's fine, but we were only able to capture all currently writing parameters, and that has slightly limited applications. So now let's take a look at how you can capture all automation parameters, irrespective of whether they're currently writing automation or not. This session consists of a scene inside a club called scene one, another outside the club, which is scene two, and then we go back inside where I've called it scene 1B, and finally outside again, scene 2B. For this demonstration, I'm not gonna worry about displaying the video, so let's just focus purely on the audio side of things. I've already established automation in terms of EQ, reverb, levels, and so on for scene one, and then separate ones for scene two, but not for scenes 1B or 2B yet. Let's start scene one playing. And then, to force this to capture all parameters, I'll hold down the Option key on the keyboard while clicking Capture. And now, every automated parameter across every track has been captured as a static automation value from the point where I clicked it. Next, I'll use a memory location to select the entire time range of scene 1B. Now, Option clicking on the Punch button will put all tracks into Latch mode. In particular, this is Latch Prime, which is indicated as white text on a red background. This means that those tracks are primed for writing when we start the transport rolling. So, let's run this. Is this some sick game? Let's go. I'm not going anywhere! Tell me, just tell me. Okay, so as you saw, all of the parameters have been written across that range, imposing the automation from earlier on this section. Let's now go back a few seconds and play this from the end of the previous scene and see how it runs into this scene. This is actually audio which I mocked up for the sake of this demonstration, hence the reason why we're not seeing the video. But remember, this goes from a club exterior to a club interior, so things like the EQ and reverb on the music are deliberately affected. I'm working on it. Is this some sick game? Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. Tell me, just tell me. How about it? Okay, and now we have an issue where the automation is wrong for scene 2B. How about it? Thanks for coming out. So we need to capture the settings from scene 2 now. So, same again, let's run it. And I'll option click on the capture button. Then I'll select the entirety of scene two. This doesn't actually need to be across all tracks, just the timeline selection which encompasses the whole duration of the scene. Now I'm gonna option click the punch button, and once again, we're in latch prime. So let's start it running. How about it? Fancy coming out? Oh, thank you, no. And if we don't wanna to have to sit through the scene in its entirety, we can click on the manual right to selection button, and then when we stop it, it's written those parameters across the entire duration. 
So now, transitioning from scene 1B into scene 2B, you'll see and hear those parameters jump. Just tell me. How about it? Fancy coming out? Oh, thank you, no. Are you sure? You don't know what you're missing. Great, so that's an overview of the capture and punch automation features in Pro Tools. Thanks for watching.